getting longer than expected well as usual I would say but on further videos I will try to keep it a bit shorter I promise or at least I will try let's say I will try that sounds better and sounds more like a politician so I become a politician ah not really anyway let's continue what was the next question it was how they gonna make sure that wealthy Americans pay their fair amount of tax and actually that's that's a quite funny one course both of them are wealthy so would mean both of them will have to pay more tax which I doubt they like but anyway let's see what they have to say there ah, and one important thing before I get to their answers on the question I have to admit here again I have no idea how the tax system in the United States works so most probably I'm not the best one to judge on that but Trump was basically saying he wants to decrease corporate tax from 35 to 15 percent um, not really sure what that actually has to do with the topic of course it was the question was about wealthy Americans not corporations and I'm pretty sure his argument about, about it is well getting them back from their offshore tax havens and what did Clinton have to say well she wants to increase taxes okay that might play out of course obviously increasing tax would target wealthy people as well but and there she mentioned a good point actually she mentioned she won't touch um, the tax of low income earners up to $250,000 per year well where I have to say I wouldn't call it low income earners of course I would be pretty happy actually if I would make 250000 a year and I wouldn't consider myself as a low-income earner but anyway I don't live in the States so I don't know maybe maybe that's low income in the States you can actually put it in the comments if you're from the States or if you know it so what's the conclusion here I actually like the idea Clinton mentioned about the smaller incomes or medium incomes or whatever so I would basically give her half a point there and what's the next one ah one of my no actually my absolute favorite one it's Syria the war on Syria and what they're gonna do about it and that was the question so just as a quick reminder who is fighting there legally is obviously the local military the Syrian people and the Russians and no one else what does Hillary say about Syria well she claims oh, she claims Russia is not targeting ISIS but rather just the civilians and obviously the rebels which are anti-government and so on well that's a bit strange of course if you have a look what happened before Russia started bombing ISIS was gaining more and more territory and advancing and as soon as Russia started bombing 
well they were on the run so I kind of doubt that they are not targeting ISIS but anyway what else she had to say she wants to install no a no fly zone well if you have a look at Libya that didn't play out well for the president of Libya and what does Trump say about it well at least more I can agree on because he's basically saying when they armed the rebels in the end those rebels they armed turned out to be worse than the forces they were originally fighting I'm kind of sure he is there referring as well to Libya and to Afghanistan and so on so he has a pretty valid point there and what I like as well he disagrees on further military involvement there of course obviously you don't bring peace with military involvement you bring peace by not getting militarily involved any further so basically two really good points where I really can agree on and from Hillary's side two points where I really strongly disagree so on this one it's pretty clear the point goes 100% to Trump all right so the next one actually the next two of course I combined them both together which were uh, how they gonna make sure that they are gonna be a president for all Americans and the second one was a statement basically made by Trump saying that one of the most important things is for a leader is to be disciplined and how they're gonna make sure that they will be disciplined or if they think they're disciplined and on both of that I have to say they didn't say much in a debate about it rather went off topic so here the only thing I can say is zero points to both or well maybe I missed the point there so if you have the point there or got the point there and I missed it just put it in the comments but I didn't get it there so let's continue to the next which was the Supreme Court Justice and that actually I found kind of interesting or even kind of strange because I didn't know it works that way in the US but well different system different rules so Clinton said she wants basically experienced people for that job which all right makes sense there what she mentioned as well and what was in my opinion at least off topic but well she mentioned it so I want to bring it up that she wants to get rid of the dark money in politics actually I didn't even know it's called dark money I always thought it's called bribery but well she called it dark money so I guess it's called like that but <laughs> what I find funny about it would there be any politicians left if there would be no so-called dark money anymore but anyway what Trump had to say about it well he said he wants to handpick them and actually is already in the process of handpicking them which as I mentioned before for me personally is weird that a president can handpick them 
I mean, shouldn't they be kind of voted for or shouldn't they be elected as well or something? But anyway, if that's the system, it's the system. And where he went off topic as well, and or basically countered when Hillary went off topic, he basically was asking her why she didn't put uh, any of her personal money in there, in her campaign. So to reduce the amount of donations required and with that obviously the, how we called it, um, special interest, yeah, special interest he called it. Which for me again is just another word for bribery as well. I would say we have a draw here, so basically I wouldn't give either everyone a point or no one a point uh, well let's let's say no one a point of course well doesn't make much difference in the end all right and the next question was how are they gonna deal with the renewable energy thing or how are they gonna make sure that current uh, workers from traditional energy like co-workers and so on how they will be treated or if they will get new jobs or how they're gonna make sure they don't lose their jobs and so on and what Trump says there he's actually mentioning a pretty funny fact of course he he said all right we gonna he's open for uh, renewable energy and basically all forms of energy but that apart from renewable ones they have for sure to stick with the old ones and he was mentioning they will stick with clean coal and I have to make a statement here dear Mr. Trump there is nothing like clean coal and what had Clinton there to say? Basically the same thing. I mean, okay, she didn't mention the clean coal thingy, but she said, yeah, she is for renewable energy, and, well, how you can be for renewable energy, obviously. But she didn't mention how she's going to make sure that those people now working in traditional energy won't lose their jobs or anything like that but actually that reminds me that I have to get energy as well of course I need fuel so I'll see you back in a minute refueling is done so let's get back to the topic of course Clinton basically mentioned another thing which kind of was off topic but I still liked it a lot where she was mentioning that Trump for his buildings is buying cheap steel from China and I assume that is true didn't check it but she has a point there and if it's true obviously he is kind of not betraying but putting a disadvantage on the American steel workers obviously so since no one really said anything how they're gonna treat the problem with the current classic energy workers or how you call them I would rather give no one a point but since Clinton mentioned this one with the steel I will give her at least half a point and there we are actually finally at the last question 
And actually I first thought like ah, I could leave that out first. Well, the question was what positive you have to say about your opponent. And obviously no one wants to say anything positive about their opponent. Of course, yeah, they just want to put them in a bad light and say negative things about him. But anyway, the question was there and their answers were accordingly quite useless. Of course, Clinton was mentioning Trump's kids and Trump was mentioning that she doesn't give up and she's a fighter and that he likes. So basically, in doesn't say anything at all. So no points there, I would say. So let's sum it up. It's basically for Clinton zero full points and at least two half points which makes it one in total and for Trump we have two full points and two half points so it's three so in my opinion which actually differs from a lot of other opinions which just see Trump slightly in the advance there I personally see him as yeah, definitely one there and he actually got me personally from saying well you should go for Trump course he's the lesser evil to well you should go for Trump course at least he has two points which I really agree with him which were bringing justice to the email leaks of Clinton and uh, the Syrian war obviously getting out of there or at least not getting more involved than there are already. Since I actually found the second debate quite entertaining and kind of interesting as well, but more entertaining and funny, I will be watching the third one as well for sure. I mean, not like this time where I watched it afterwards on YouTube, but I will watch it live this time. And most probably, even with the comments, well, where they were on Louder with Crowder, what I mentioned in the beginning. So, if you want to watch this as well, you could either join me on that, or even a better idea if you want to make up some live comments on it as well. I would be in for some kind of uh, video conferencing and live commenting on it. So if you have any plans on that, just leave it in the comments or contact me on Twitter or uh, YouTube directly. That would actually be a really cool thing, but well, we'll see. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you didn't subscribe yet, I'm pretty sure the subscribe button is feeling lonely if you don't use it. So just give it a small click and make it happy again. And if you have any additional comments or suggestions or anything, just put it down there and I will, re will reply. And I see you in the next video.